When the final round is so good, you'll quit your job to watch it. Sports fans from all over the world watch the Masters Magic, some staying up through the night to witness history. Captain America, Super Mario, whatever nickname you want to give him, Patrick Reed never let the other players catch him as he cruised through Augusta on Sunday. A little unusual for Patrick, he captured his sixth PGA Tour victory and first major championship without his token Sunday red, reserving that for Mr. Tiger Woods himself, who made the cut in his first Masters appearance in three years. Even more unusual, Tiger and Phil playing together? Yeah, the two Masters champs were buddy-buddy on Tuesday in their practice round together, and I wonder if they went to Arby's together after two. Apparently, the restaurant across the street from Augusta National has a spot reserved just for Tiger because he ate there every day during the week of his 1997 victory. Aside from the battle for the green jacket, some of the most fun moments of the week were aces. The fans erupted on social media when Charlie Hoffman made his hole-in-one on 16 on Sunday. But it was Jack Nicklaus's 15-year-old grandson, GT, who made the six-time Masters champ cry when he got his first ace ever in Wednesday's par three contest. But this one made me cry. Ouch, Tony Finau, celebrating his own ace on Wednesday, dislocated his ankle, but then came back the very next day, tied for the lead, and finished in the top 10 in his first trip to Augusta. All right, I promise I'll give the green jacket back, but in the meantime, let me know in the comments below what your favorite good, bad, or unusual moment of the week was. And remember, PGA Tour Live returns for the RBC Heritage this week. I'll see you there and in the takeaway after each round.